people who wrote Lady Bird and Marriage Story to make a movie about a plastic doll that is generally played with by five to nine-year-old. Ah, oh, I can't believe that brought in Nah Bombacher, Greta Gerwig for Barbie. Ben, is that the reason why your movie grossed $800 on the first week that it came out and Barbie has made like 800 million? I know a lot better than, than everybody else. My producers dragged me to see Barbie, and it's one of the most woke movies I've ever seen. Yeah, that's awesome. What did he, did he bring notes to the movie theater? What a nerd, dude. What a gigantic loser. Oh my God. He was just, he was just sitting there taking notes, shaking his head violently. Like, mmm, this is uncouth. I do not like this. The next day. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. Let's hear what Ben Shapiro had to say. He uh, destroys right. Barbie for first hey, minutes. Right. For those of you who can't wait that long, I'm gonna give my review of the Barbie movie in the most Oppenheimer fashion. What the f Run. Jesus Christ. Bro, the, here's the thing, like, here's the problem with uh, a, you know, Ben is like 45 years old, first of all, and has children. Um, here's the issue with Ben doing something like this. Because his entire life is so like nerdy and like serious and takes himself so seriously when he tries to pull like bits like this especially when like the bit is about reviewing the barbie movie it comes across insane yeah like it's not dude just keep that leave that up to other people you know what i mean like you can't spend your whole shitty ass conservative commentary career uh trying to take yourself super seriously and then do this like steven crowder would do a better job with this okay so the things i do for my audience my producers dragged me to go see barbie movie yeah they dragged him barbie the movie and um and um i have i have thoughts this video is sponsored by express VPN. let me begin with my generalized assessment of the movie this movie is not just a piece of shit. This movie is a flaming piece of dog piled atop an entire dumpster on fire, piled atop a landfill filled with dog It is one of the worst movies. I mean, this is like his wet ass P word moment. Give me everything you got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up N word, catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. That's brilliant. I feel like he has to be aware. I think he's doing this as a bit. Like, he knows he's, like, an insufferable nerd. And, like, he's playing the role of the insufferable nerd, right? There's no way someone could get this triggered over, like, probably one of the most basic-ass, like, painfully vanilla movies of all time. Movies I've ever seen. On every possible level, it is a horrific movie. The only thing that can be said for this film is production design. Production design is really nice. The costumes are really nice. Also, it's really hard to screw that up. It's really hard to screw that up because you literally have this to model after. All you have to do is this, but big, okay? It's really not hard. But put aside all of the beautiful costumes, which is there for the ladies, and all of the production design, and, and the Barbie universe, and all of that. Every joke that happens in this film happens basically within the first 45 seconds of the film. So for example, Barbie turns on the water and there's no water. Ooh, because you know, like in Barbie house, there's no actual water. Do you, do you get it? And then she drinks, but there's no actual liquid in the, in the actual, in the actual cup. Oh my God, because she's a Barbie doll. Oh, I get it. Okay. That's all the jokes. There are no more jokes for the rest of the film. I think it's kind of cool. The movie's a shit show. Okay. So conceptually. It's supposed to be the funny, right? He said the movie's a shit show. Bro, he's talking about the Barbie movie. <laughs> hypothetically speaking, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, I watched, I mean, he does watch a lot of Disney movies and gets mad at them too. So this is like right in his wheelhouse. I just realized like... I mean, unironically, like, I mean, I, not unironically, whatever the word is, I want to go see Barbie after what he just said. That's kind of cool. Yeah, no, I, I also wanted to see it anyway. And the fact that like conservatives are trying desperately to get, like figure out something to get mad at over it is, is pretty funny. Uh, makes it better. Movie is a show. I want to ask them, who's the intended audience for this film? Who's the intended audience for this film? So I'll tell you who the intended audience for this film is. And I can tell two ways. One, the previous on the film and two, the people in the audience. So the intended audience for this film is moms and their eight-year-old daughters. That's the intended audience for the film. I know because the previews for the film were all kids movies. I'm talking like G or PG rated kids films. We're talking like teenage- Dog, it's a PG-13 movie. Yeah, no shit. Who the f plays with Barbies, you f 
idiot. Why did you go to a PG-13 movie and freak out that like it, the intended audience is for children? Yeah, it's one of those things where a lot of uh, people that make stuff for kids, okay, and like teenagers and whatever, um, they will usually try to make two separate movies in one, okay? They'll try to make it so that like there's funny, subtle humor for adults that kids can't really pick up on so that the parents that are in there watching don't lose their mind sitting through an entire movie okay that's usually the goal with with children's movies that's why there's like when you do a revisit to uh older works from uh you know from your childhood you'd be like what the f I can't believe they said that in this movie, but like when you're a kid, you don't really understand it. Now, Barbie also, Barbie also is a little bit different than that because like it's done by Greta Gerwig, right? I mean, she's like a respectable auteur, uh, director. So like it, it's 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 supposed to be consumed by a wide range of, of ages. It's more so uh, consumable for children, but it's still uh, for young adults and adults in general. Mutant Ninja Turtles or Trolls 4 or whatever it is. Those were all the previews, right? All the previews are actually directed at what the audience is supposed to be for this film. And yeah, there are genital jokes. Well, of course there are genital jokes. It's like, it's Barb. It's Barb. Barbie's got no Barb bussy, I'll tell you that. If you look in the audience, it's a bunch of moms, like youngish moms, middle-aged moms with their like six, seven, eight-year-old girl. That's the entire crew. I used to think this movie my is male Barbies were hot. Any of those people. In fact, this movie first, is made like... for no one. This Oh my, wait, what did you say? I used to think my male Barbies were hot. I got like the six pack Barbies. I mean, yeah, you're gay, dog. I know, but I, that was like my first. Austin. I, I know. But like back, I gotta, back I gotta tell you something. I, I gotta tell you something. What? You're a homosexual. I know, I know, I know. But but like, this is like my first. <laughs> like, I didn't know I was gay at the time. Did you look at like G.I. Joe's and you were like, damn, they're fucking sexy. <laughs> no. But I used to, my Barbies would make love usually. <laughs> You ever do that? Come on, that was a common thing. I did not have Barbie. I didn't either. I Wait, mean, I would Barbie. You them. just explained that you had a Barbie yeah, and a kid. I, I had no Barbies and no kid. Wait, you had Barbie? That's why you're gay, dog. Because well, your parents let you play with Barbies. It's true. <laughs> you're you're a woman true. now. I know. <laughs> I know. That's kind of wild. I also had one no, of those kitchens. I never, <laughs> I never wanted, uh, like, I never, I'm, my parents would have let me have them if I wanted Barbies. I'm sure they wouldn't give a fuck, but, like, I never, I always wanted, like, significantly gayer <laughs> toys, which is burly yeah. men, like, yeah. muscular, burly men yeah. with machine guns. You like, didn't like big boob toys? Big breasted? No, I didn't have any. And, of course, Grand Line Girls on Vacation. Nico Robin. And Grand Line Journey Nami. I mean, this is sick. This is so sick. Oh, God. I am such a fucking dweeb, dude. I'm not a weeb. I'm a fucking dweeb, okay? What has happened to me? I don't know. I just I love the attention to detail. What does she smell like? Plastic. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is insane, dude. I don't even want to talk about... There's no points of articulation on this. But there is... This is a insanely, perhaps too detailed mm -hmm. figurine. Oh my god. What the... F what? That's crazy. Oh. Uh, all right, let's continue. This movie is going to make a bunch of money week one because the marketing effort has been extraordinary. I mean, whoever's the marketing team over at Warner Brothers is doing an amazing job. Week one, this thing is going to clean up at the domestic box office. My prediction is going to just absolutely fall off a cliff after that. The repeat business on this movie is going to be non-existent because it was written by two people who are so smart. Wait, does he think that, like, people that... Wait, what? Does he think that, people like, the second back. week people are... It's just... It's not new people watching. <laughs> He thinks that, like, usually the second week is all, like, repeat watchers. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> oh, man. Because, like, I'll give you an example. I wanted to see Barbie last night. I couldn't because it's motherfucking sold out for, like, two weeks. Okay? A lot of people will definitely see it next week, and it will be first-time watchers. I am genuinely shocked that Ben doesn't understand this concept. Anyway, let's continue. self-satisfied, and Greta Gerwig and Noah Bamba, that they have no audience. I mean, like, the, who thought it's a great idea? Let's bring on the people who wrote Lady Bird and Marriage Story to make a movie about a plastic doll that is generally played with by five to nine-year-old 
This is where I have to interject uh, once again and explain something very important. Ben is a failed screenwriter. Mm. Ben grew up in Hollywood. He wanted to be in Hollywood and he's a fucking failure. Mm. So for that reason, he always has so much disdain and hatred for anything in Hollywood. But you know what he doesn't have? The knowledge of how the industry works. So every single time he says like, ah, oh, I can't believe that brought in now Baumbacher, Greta Gerwig for Barbie. It's like, yeah, that's the point, you fucking idiot. They did that on purpose. Like they... They wanted to make it different than just like a, a basic ass Barbie movie. Okay. That's the reason why they chose to do that. Why the fuck are you sitting over being like, I know a lot better than, than everybody else. Ben, is that the reason why your movie grossed $800 on the fucking first week that it came out, you know, in movie theaters? $800. $800 fucking dollars, Ben. Is that why your movie made $800 and Barbie has made like $800 million? Shut the fuck up about the decisions that people... People in Hollywood are fucking making. The fuck do you know? We know that we can compare your work, your attempts at making Hollywood shit, okay, versus actual Hollywood studios. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. Dude, he is so fucking peeled. It's stupid. God damn it, Ryan Gosling. I'm always not. Like, let me tell you something, okay? We always are talking about how, like, oh, my God, this is, like, aspirations uh, for, for an unachievable body type for women. Like, what are we doing? What are we going to do about women? All this shit, okay? How about for, for men? How about that, okay? It's fucked up. It's fucked up, dude. You know what? I'm just like Ben, dude. Ben's just like me for real, okay? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it, hypothetically. Um, Ryan Gosling having such juicy pecs at the age of 42 is frustrating to me um, because he looks tanned he looks toned and also uh men can't look like that sometimes it's very difficult to to become a man that looks like that it's not attainable and uh i'm very frustrated I'm just kidding, but I see the love this is the fit that ben Shapiro literally wore okay